not been doing so hot recently with the unveiling of paid mods on Steam. And removing paid mods. And then receiving a brutal F rating from the Better Business Bureau. Yikes. F for feck. But it does look like Valve's luck might be turning around. Steam users are now able to get refunds for their purchased games. That's sure to let off some steam. Not just games for DLCs, in-game purchases, pre-purchased games, even bungled purchases, and you can receive said refund for any reason. Like, uh, I didn't feel like it. Like, uh, I'm bored. Like, uh, I can't control my pee. Oh, like, oh no. Like, oops. Let my kid play online with my credit card. When it does come to full game refunds, the game had to have not been played for two weeks or had only been played for no more than two hours. For DLCs, as long as they have not been consumed, transferred, or modified, players can receive a full refund within 14 days of purchase. That's two weeks. Ooh. Did you know that? It's a fortnight. Fortnite. Did you know that? I, I didn't know. In-game purchases run in the same vein as DLCs. Don't play with it and you get your money back. But there's only a two-day return window. That's did, a fort day. Did, did, I made it up. This <laughs> sounds great. Imagine you're an avid gamer and you purchase Gumboys 3 on Steam. But wait a second, your PC doesn't have a cool enough RAM or your video card doesn't sync up with your CPU. I thought Sam had a point. I'm wearing all cats in an eye patch. I noticed the eye patch before. Are you into the pussies? Meow. I did one scratch your eye? Gross. Pirates and private society, are there any downsides to this refund policy? The answer is yes, maybe. Indie game developers are probably the first to be affected negatively by this policy change. There are plenty of indie games out there whose story mode only lasts somewhere between an hour or two. So theoretically, a gamer could purchase the entire game, power through the story, or get close enough to the end of it, and then whoop, return the game with a full refund. Valve did state they would review all refund claims to determine their validity, and people who abuse this feature will be banned from using them. That being said, there is always a chance that there will be certain people People that always slip through the cracks of the system and essentially get unlimited free games. Maybe. What about gifts, movies, and Steam wallet refunds? There is a link down below with Valve's full return policy for those of you who want the full picture here. What do you guys think? Are you relieved that Steam finally has a refund policy, or is this bad news for smaller game developers? Let us know in the comments down below. You know, I've got a Mac and I've bought about five games on Steam now that you can only play on a PC. Oops! Seriously though, where the hell did you get that cat sweater? That is my spirit animal, and it's on your body. You want to see something cool? Yes. Oh my god, it's like Catception. I want to Mad Max the hell out of these post-apocalyptic wastelands. Yeah, you know, and plus I'm sick like of like shit. walking everywhere. I can't, I can't in that game. That's how I drive. Were you driving over dead bodies yes. or something? Where are you driving? They're all dead. A lot of dunes? Well, they're dead now. The sequel featuring Arrow Stephen RML as Casey Jones. It's will hit ML, you piece of shit. Motherfucker. You tried that. She denied you as well.